guy is great. Cool hideout, fancy hoverboards. And no one can tell me to wear a shirt. Oh no, it's the mega famous Battletoads, including Zitz, the leader, Pimple, the strong one, and Rash, the sunglasses one. Don't forget Best Kisser. Enough talk, it's time to... Best Kisser, why are you the Best Kisser? Uh, maybe because I practice on my hand all the time? That just means you're the best at kissing your hand. Come on, there's more goals outside. And so, I finally pass into the afterlife. Wait, there's nothing here. Make the most of the time you have! Yikes. I don't think he's coming back this time. Oh well, sucks to be him. On with the celebration! Was executed. <laughs> in lighter news, we've all heard of Toad in the Hole. But Toads? In a hole? Julie Saturn Rings has more. Thanks, Zerb. Sounds bizarre, but that's exactly what a local construction crew discovered this afternoon. Yeah, so we was digging, you know, for construction stuff, and I find this bunker with friggin' frogs trapped inside. And I mean, it stinks. So we checked the wiring, and these morons been in there for 26 years, living a simulated fantasy life. And I mean, they stink. 26 years in a fantasy bunker? You'd have to be gullible not to figure that one out. So, frogs, how you feeling? Stupid? We're not frogs. We're toads. The battle toads. We're famous superheroes. This just in? No, you're not. This has been Julie Saturn Rings asking, what are they going to do now? was pretty much a guarantee at this point. Then we had that meeting about the email. Ugh. And I told him I don't care about games from the 90s. Some things are just meant to stay buried forever. say, assume good intent. Oh wait, that weird lizard guy is looking. So, we don't own anything worth stealing. You're right. I'll go apologize. <laughs> knock, knock. Sorry, we're poor. Oh, it's, it's just Rash wearing a diaper. Ah, oh, 
solved it! Solve what? Come in, brothers. Are we brothers? We never talk about it. Doesn't matter. Take a seat, I'll stand. No, no, no. You stand, I'll sit. Everyone stands. Listen, I've been up all night mimicking the methods of TV detectives. Tracking, triangulating, enhance, enhance, enhance. And I've pinpointed the precise location of the Dark Queen. Could you pinpoint a dumpster and burn that diaper? This is the Dark Queen we're talking about, remember? She nearly destroyed the galaxy, I think. But we beat her up, which sent her and I want to say spinning into space. And we can do it again. Who's in? Zits? Pimple, pimple, zits? Sorry, Rash. I'm a masseuse now. My fists are for pleasure, not pain. And I'm lead attacher at the email factory. We're moving on. Moving on to what? Our sink is busted? The pipes are frozen? There are train tracks in our living room! No, 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 no. We have good jobs and a roof over our heads. I'm not ready to get captured again. Well, I'm not ready to be irrelevant. I'm not ready to live my life as just another toad. But mostly, I'm not certain that I could. <laughs> Okay, Rash, we're in. Let's go build you a brand new audience. You really mean it? You're damn right I do. Now, where do we find the Dark Queen? Not where, when. <gasps> Time travel? Uh, no, we'll leave when I've cleaned myself up. Then we're renting turbo bikes, baby! Woohoo! Battletoads reboot! Time. Hey, Battletoads, it's Chet from Chet and Sons Turbo Bike Rentals. My sensors indicate you're driving like a bat out of heck, and dang it, if you don't slow down, I'll have my sons post nasty rumors about you on the galactic internet. They're handsome boys, but they're mean as dirt, and itching to embarrass you. Hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> I warned you, Toads! Now my beautiful boys are spreading all sorts of lies about you until you return my bikes! This is my business model! Hello, Toads. I made my sons delete their posts. The truth is, my business is failing, and if you destroy those turbo bikes, I'm ruined. My sons were too beautiful to learn a real trade. Please, return my bikes. This is Chet from Chet and Sons. What's he so worried about? The bikes look literally the same as when we started this journey! Stay vigilant. The Dark Queen is behind this door. Probably. Probably. I thought you pinpointed her precise location. Pinpointed, guess. Who can remember? I remember. You said pinpointed. We're wasting time. Let's just go inside and punch whatever we see, okay? Fine. You need to be walking a certain death. <laughs> Not just any intruders. The soon-to-be-famous... Battletoads? <gasps> it's the Queen! Punch! <laughs> Let go, Pimple! You're not punching a baby. But it's ugly! Drop the ugly baby! Don't really drop it, though. Just set it down gently. Not until I explain myself. Toad Huddle! She's really got us over a barrel with that butt ugly baby. I vote to let her talk. Yeah, fine, whatever. Let go. It stings when you pinch it off like that. Okay, Queen, you have exactly ten seconds to explain yourself. Go! <gasps> I'm being held prisoner in this park by a race of celestial aliens named the Topians who stole my powers and hired a giant guardian to block my escape. I've secretly been using radiation to create sentient carnival toys that I hoped have mutated to fierce warriors, but instead came out brassy, all about the holidays, and anatomically correct, to name a few. <gasps> we devised a plan to topple the guard and travel the cosmos to defeat the Topian overlords, thus freeing the galaxy and restoring the power I lost 26 years ago, then time permitting, get that naked toy some pants! <gasps> Why would she get the pants last? The queen has been here for 26 years. We were in the bunker for 26 years. Do you know what that means? Oh my god. It means she's not famous either. More importantly, it means the Topians locked us in the bunker. Who cares? The Dark Queen was our ticket back to the top. If she's not famous, then we can't be famous. And if we can't be famous, then life is meaningless. Pimple, punch me through my brain. I don't want to, but I will do anything for you. Are you sure? Yeah, man. I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna punch you through the brain. Oh, God. I love you so much. I love you, too. <laughs> Wait. We can team up. I'm sorry. Excuse me. This is a toad huddle? I know our history is complicated. I mean, you sent me spinning off into space. No hard feelings. Much respect. But now that you're here, we can execute my plan to defeat the Topians together. Uh, these Topians? Are they famous? Infamous. I'm in! I'm not. Thanks for the hot tip, lady, but uh, we can beat the Topians without you. Wow, that makes me the tie-breaking vote. <laughs> I declare a Toad Shampoo! Toad Shampoo! A what now? Toad Shampoo!
Unflappable. Suck my frigging butt, you backstabbing punks! Chug my dump truck, you stinky wimps! Beep, beep, garbage butt backing up! I hate the battle toads. Gotcha. Hey, Queen, correct me if I'm wrong. Earlier, did I hear you scream that we stink? What? No. I was talking about the cattle toads. Like you guys, but cattle. They stink. I'm so friggin' pumped. We're gonna be famous. Sup, Topian scum? We just stole a spaceship, and we're coming for you. The Battle Toads and the Dark Queen are gonna destroy you. And in case you're wondering, our exact space coordinates are 3x5. Four, three. Stop that! Your Majesties? Yes, mortal. Moments ago, we received this transmission. The Battle Toads and the Dark Queen are gonna destroy you! <gasps> Did that voice just say it was going to destroy us? Who would want to destroy you? You've got the most amazing shape. I'm wearing Nebulas from Zorthos. You know, the cluster with the gross bugs? Oh, the gross bugs. See, I think they're cute bugs. With their little wobble. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the wobble. I wonder if they're ready to evolve. <gasps> Might be fun to set them up. With the fourth dimension? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now see, this is why little old me and you run the universe. Oh, great ones. What do you want to do about the Dark Queen and the Battletoads? Huh? Oh, alert the galaxy and kill them. And I'm waiting on a sandwich. <laughs> great torturing, torture team. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive? More like 400 lashes. <laughs> See what I did there? I took four. Oh, I love it. Whip him. Yes, and hear that pun in your nightmare. Yeah. Whip him. Whip him good. That should be a song. Write that down. Pardon my interruption, oh floating ones, but we still haven't located the Dark Queen. Oh my god, what kind of an update is that? Yeah, restaurants don't say, excuse me, we haven't started making your food. Oh, you know, that one place did. Oh, that's right. The place that's mean on purpose. I don't want to pay you to be mean to me. That's what I have a mother for. Have you found the other ones? The, uh, Arbal Toes? The t Total Oves? Oh, the things we're looking for. The brut Brutables. Bartle Bears? The Tattle Toes? The Beetle Bugs? Fire Bats? The Jitsu Bats? Battle... Battle bees? That's it. That's it. Battle bees. The battle bees. The battle toads. I'm afraid they've eluded capture as well. What? What did you do? Well, I made him three inches shorter. Doesn't seem like much, but his entire life will change. Now, do your job before I give you combination skin. That's like when part of your skin is dry. Parts are oily and parts are dry. Right. You need the right product. Yes. Those ugly toads and that spinny little witch might be more of a formidable team than we thought. We couldn't do this without you. You're the most important member of the team. Just don't tell the others I said that, okay? Where are we? Jerkery 9, an outer ring planet and home to an old cohort of mine named Jeffrey. And he's see-through? Cool. He's a well-connected diplomat who knows of a secret entrance into Topian City. However, I need to speak with him alone. Okay, what's going on here? I thought I was a leader. Are you all conspiring behind my back? Seriously, like, am I hearing it? Do I sound crazy? Am I crazy right now? No, no way. You're the leader. Okay, good. Great. In that case, I say the Queen waits outside while we talk to Jeff. You don't even know Jeff. Why would he trust you? Why do you trust me? I don't. That's why I don't want you talking to Jeff. Too bad. I'm pulling rank. This is so stupid. Stupid. I declare one of those thingies a tissue boom? Toe shampoo. Toe shampoo! Toe shampoo! Toe shampoo! And introducing the Dark Queen. 
Sorry, Queen. Call me if you have any problems. Oof, talk about a superiority complex. Okay, everyone, keep your eyes peeled for- Jeff! I'm Jeff. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. I'm in charge here, and we're gonna need you to tell us the secret way in Utopian City, please. And thank you. We're working with the Dark Queen. She works for us, actually? The Dark Queen is challenging the Topians? Of course I'll share the coordinates. However, I'll need to speak with the Queen herself, alone. We can call her. No, anything you would tell her, you can tell us. Uh, that's the opposite of what I said. <laughs> Not to mention, I'm busy negotiating peace between two warring tribes by acquiring their medallions of respect. So, unless you connect me with the Dark Queen immediately, we have nothing left to discuss. Here. No! Give it here! Uh. Hello? Is something wrong? Uh, um, uh, Je Jeff is fine. Jeff is fine. It's a weird thing to say. Can I talk to him? <clears throat> this is Jeff. Jeff, you sound different. I have pink eye. Pink eye doesn't change how you sound. I mean, pink mouth? So sorry, it's super pink. Gotta go. Bye. Whew. That bought us some time. Time for what? Time to help Jeff's body earn those medallions. He'll wake up and see what we did and then fork over the coordinates. Any objections? Will it matter? No, it will not. Let's find those medallions. Look, that wooden gladiator has a medallion of respect. He's fighting in a nearby arena. How do you know? It's written on the billboard. Rash, can you read? <laughs> You kidding? I read tons of books. It's settled. We gymnasts agree to stop attacking the lumberjacks. We lumberjacks agree to the same. Thank you, Jeff, for brokering this truce. Don't you mean spruce? Like the tree? Wow, you really understand lumberjacks now. Let's eat! Oh, yeah, yum yum time! <gasps> what? I thought dinner was served. That wasn't dinner. That was a server. Oh. Call a small ambulance! One, two, three, four. Come on, Walter. You survived malaria. You can survive this! Son. Get off me! He's gonna pull through! You have to let him go. <laughs> We're lovers. <laughs> Time of death, 632. Cause of death, someone else's stupidity. Uh, uh, whoops. Hold on! Jeff loves small food. He would never have mistaken small waiters for the actual meal itself. He's unconscious! Hey! Who are you three? These frogs have been puppeteering Jeff like some sort of stringed toy! Deciding their fate will be the first act of our newly peaceful society. Kill them! All in favor, say aye! Aye! aye. Looks like we were saved by the long arm of the claw. No? Nothing? Okay. So, what happened to Jeff? He was praising my leadership when he just collapsed. Uh, the Dark Queen? You look different than I remember. Hello again, Jeffrey. We're looking for the secret entrance to Topian City. Will you help us? You! You knocked me unconscious! You did? I would never! But I did, yes, accidentally. I refuse to help these Cretans, Queen. Dump the frogs, then we can talk. You know what? One more thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it absolutely has to be said. This new outfit? <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. You've made this much, much easier. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Tell me the location of the secret entrance! Ah, there's a map in my back pocket! It's yours! Ah! Got it. I guess we've changed, Jeff. Ah! I've grown more impatient, and you want to control what I'm wearing. Like you're entitled to it because we hung out 20 years ago. Ah! Oh, Jeffrey, ah! you've soiled your pants. <laughs> what are you gonna do with me? I've already let you down once. Why not twice? Ah! 
We got the map! You're not mad that we lied to you? I'm more relieved no one had pink eye. We've been touching all the same doorknobs. Yep, bottom line, I displayed great leadership by calling the Queen for help. And as our leader, I've decided that we should follow her lead for the rest of the mission. Huh, that almost sounds like an apology. I think Zitz just had a breakthrough. What do you say, Queen? I say, next stop, Topian City. Jeff didn't exactly stick the landing. Was that a gymnast joke, you lumberjack sack of crap? Are you making fun of the sack lunges we lumberjacks bring into the forest? Goodbye, truce. Welcome back, sweet war. <laughs> Planet Golo has its unremarkable yellow hue. Oh, fascinating. Next, the boring amoeba who only communicates through ambient sounds like... Oh... Sorry, Zitz. I can't take any more of your podcasts. Okay, how do you want to spend the next three million miles? We could play I Spy. Woo! Me first! I Spy... Another spaceship heading right for us. <laughs> Kick it down the back of the... What the yeah. hell? Did they just call us... What's... The Ah, uh, well, what can you do? K sera sera. When they go. Get him! We're gaining on them. What exactly is the point of fighting these idiots? You mean besides the fantastic feeling of revenge? Queen, please. I don't want to rush into another unnecessary fight. Good point. Thank you. Counterpoint. This is a perfect opportunity to test the ship's weaponry before Topian City. Pimple? No one listens. <laughs> Make them understand. No, I get so angry. Be nice. Be nice. Pimple, let go of Rash. I, I, I have to leave. This dynamic is toxic. I, I can't be a part of this friendship anymore. Aren't you brothers? We never talk about it. Pimple, be reasonable. No. Anyone tired of fighting can come with me. Otherwise, leave me alone. Go with Pimple. If he gets into trouble, activate this beacon. Pimple's just being dramatic. Ah, let him blow off some steam while we blow up these dirt bags. I'm talking about murder. Ah, this is the life. Clean air, kind people, and zero cost. Move it, Chunky. Ah! Hey, don't let that guy bother you. People like him try to spread pain. I'm all about pleasure. My name's Nico with a Q-U. My name is Pimple. I'm, I was a battle toad. Ooh, sounds dramatic. If you're scoping chill spots for self-care, I'm meeting my friends in the meadow to play games. What do you say? That's awfully nice, but I should be more careful with who I trust. Hey, I'm the one talking to a guy carrying stuffed animals in public. We both could be psychopaths, man. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Guess there's no reason to keep shooting these cool lasers then. Guess not. Hey! Someone threw a piece of trash out of that ship! So? So, litter bugs are bad. One would make a case you could argue they're even worse because littering harms everyone. I wouldn't argue that because it's wrong. But it's right enough to turn these lasers back on. What do you say? Street justice! Hey, Pimps, you okay? Okay. I've never felt better. Hey, good friends will do that, my man. You know, I was worried you might be a pervert at first, Nico, but now I get it. You're happy. I'd be even happier if you decided to stay. But take your time. Audit your feelings. Process any lingering battle toad drama. I'm in. Oh, yeah? Well, attention, everyone. Pimple is here to stay. Yay! Yay! Show him Jason! Who's Jason? Heh. <laughs> this is Jason. Neat. Is this like an inside joke where the joke is how bad it looks? <laughs> Jason is the one true god. Oh. He brought you into our lives, so I brought you here to thank him. So you're a cult? No, man, we're just a group of people who love fun and hate conflict. Jason demands it. 
So go ahead, toss him that thank you. Uh, one thing. <laughs> I don't necessarily believe in Jason, and I hope that's okay. Ah, the thing is, it's not exactly okay, because you're creating conflict, and Jason hates conflict. But if Jason's vibes are as tight as you say they are, wouldn't he be chill about it? Don't use my jargon to talk about Jason! <sighs> I'm sorry, you're right. Maybe Jason didn't bring you into our lives. Maybe he says you're a suppressive person. Oh, what's that, Jason? Pimple smells like duty and diapers? Why are you being mean to me? Because you're harming our spiritual progress. Everyone turn your back on Pimple. He's no longer tight. He's toxic. But we're family. We made necklaces, remember? Ooh, ah, ah, calm down, Pimple. Put it down. Be nice. Nice. Be. Ah! Ah! My necklace! You saw me! Ah! You saw me! Ah! Oh, what did you do, man? I stabbed! Pimple, my man. Be tight. Be tight, my man. Protect me, Jasonians! In hindsight, maybe street justice was a bad idea. Uh, you think? On the bright side, this is the perfect opportunity to test the ship's defenses. The defenses suck! Get us out of here or we're all going to die! That's Pimple's emergency beacon! Where is it transmitting from? 30,000 miles. Directly behind us. No friggin' way we're turning around! We don't have a choice. Pimple's in trouble. <laughs> I think we lost the cops. Everyone okay? Everyone except them. It's a ratings approved bloodbath. Look, this one has an arm through its head. Whoever did this is extremely powerful. We need to find... <sighs> Pimple? I don't think Pimple is in trouble. I think he is the trouble. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <sighs> we were a dead cult anyway! What do you care how I feel? I'm Pimple the Pushover, Pimple the Peacemaker. Well, guess what? I'm done being pushed, and I'm done making peace! Should we, uh, run? No, we're a family. So you are brothers? I don't know, but family or not, the Battletoads never turn our backs on each other. I did a bad thing. Shh. You're okay, big guy. It's okay, bro. We shouldn't have blown you off. Yeah, but this is insane. There must be 50 bodies up here. Look at this one. As the perpetrator of many atrocities, I suggest we consider this pile of corpses a learning experience. From now on, we'll be more sensitive to each other's feelings. Deal? Deal. Now, we'll need to repair the ship. Who's up for three hours of exploration and two hours of crafting? Uh, I don't think we'll have the chance. You're under arrest by order of the Tobians, who seem to be aging backward. They told us to say that. Pimple, if we blew you off again, do you think that you could kill all of these cops for us? Nah, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm feeling nothing but love at the moment. Well, that's just perfect. Okay, take us to jail. Your Majesties, at long last, we've captured the battle toad. Hush! Shh! We're doing a thing. <gasps> oh! Sha sha sha. Ah. Sha sha sha. <laughs> <laughs> Did the zoom explode? I told you not to kill its competition. I thought it was the optimal media player. Don't worry, they know we're impressive. We caught them. Up yours! Ooh, <laughs> as spicy as advertised, these mercenaries have a mouth. Our minions say your frog and lady crusade is the talk of the galaxy. Everyone's talking about it, everyone's talking yeah. about it. You know, lesser overlords would disembowel you all in a grand public spectacle, but the space is rented tonight. So we thought, let's just keep the story going. However, we have some notes. Number one, no swearing. None. Have you been swearing? No, just extremely violent. No, that's fine. Number two, abandon free thought and kneel to us, your celestial masters. If you can't kneel, just, like, you know, lean. Slightly bend. Kneel? Because of you, I languished in a radioactive wasteland, starving, 
consumed by thoughts of self-destruction. And we had to get jobs. The only thing that kept me tethered to mortal coil was the hope of being exactly where I'm standing right now. Neil, to you! No, you freaks. I'm here to kill you! <gasps> Queen? Anyone else feel like pushing back on our notes? What did you do to her? We scattered her beyond the infinitesimal plane. She's dead, you ding-dongs. We blew her up real small. She's sand. Now kneel, or you'll be next. Don't look so mopey. We can finally start having more fun. What kind of fun? Concerts, talk shows, gladiatorial death matches. In just six short months, the Battletoads have taken Topian City by storm. You're all so talented. How do you pick your projects? The Topians tell us what to do. And no one is more grateful than their fans. Crash is so cool. I want to kiss him. And Sits is a great dancer. I want to kiss him. I want to split pimple stump. The Battletoads are okay, but the Topians need to fix the streets, help the homeless. Did you know there's a black hole three blocks away? Ah! Battletoads! Yes, the Battletoads. All hail our glorious Topian leaders for bestowing us with these three tremendous talents. May they keep our attention for decades to come. Oh, oh no. We're alive, sort of. Think inside of a charismatic fascist deity. Not my worst Friday night. Sorry, I make jokes when I'm distressed. More like, this sucks. <laughs> I'm upset. Calm yourself. Hello, who's there? Thousands of beings who disobeyed the Topians as you have. The Topians cannot be rivaled. Disperse your particles and find peace in the cloud. You mean give up? Give way to the natural order of things. Surrender to the cloud and become blissful nothingness. Hi, I'm Terry Kowalski. Have you heard about the cloud? You don't have to wear pants in here. Members of the cloud, I know that fighting feels futile. I felt the same way, but fate gave me an opportunity and now I'm giving you one. Assemble your particles and fight with me. What did you have in mind? Two seconds. I'm winging it here. What can we do with a thousand particle people? <laughs> That's one idea. Attention! Last Halloween, I swallowed a live fish on a dare. Flopped around, messed up my insides. These toys had to pump my stomach. Well, I'm out. Wait! Perhaps causing a collective disruption could trigger the Topians to, well, pump their stomachs. What do you say? I say... Mess, mess up, up their, their insides. insides. <laughs> what fun. Now, Rash, there's a rumor floating around that you're dating Cougar Plimpins. Is that true? Ah, you know I don't kiss and tell. Well, Cougar told, posting, leaving Rash's mansion, Shazow. <laughs> what is that gonna mean? We were exercising! <laughs> now, Rash might be off the market, but he's in markets starting today. <gasps> Look at that! Can you believe you wanted to kill us? We'll be right back with more from the Battletoads. And we're clear. Is something wrong? Oh, my stomach has been killing. I could tell. You were weird. I feel like I, well... When was your last internal cleansing? 4,000 years ago. 4,000 years? No wonder. Here, take this. What, what, now? Here in the middle of a show? Yeah, you should have thought of that 3,000 years ago. Now, go backstage and squirt this juice into your cavity. It's actually working! It's working too well. We're going to die. Run! Now, a little birdie told me. Sorry. The Dark Queen? Well, well, look who reassembled her particulate matter. Boo her. I cannot believe you're alive! Don't tell me, after everything we've been through, that you've befriended these tyrants! We didn't have a choice. Hey, I have an idea. Audience, do you want to see the Battletoads kill the Dark Queen live in studio? Oh, oh I know I will! I would love to kill the Queen! Kill the Queen! Kill the Dark Queen! No! Ah, no the way! The Queen is our friend! Tell him, Rash! 
Rash, tell him. We can't lose the audience. What? Who cares about the audience? I care, okay? All I ever wanted was to be a famous hero, for real. And now I am one. We're not heroes, Rash. We're propaganda. The Topians are using us to distract from all the bad crap they're doing to the galaxy. We're puppets. I am not a puppet. Obey the Topians. <laughs> yeah, that's just like one of a thousand phrases. Listen. Topians rule. All hail the Topians. Do it. Rash, the audience is waiting. I... Don't do it, Rash. Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Okay. But tied up and powerless? Come on, that's too easy. Give me a real challenge by restoring the queen's powers. You'd like to see me fight a fully powered up queen, right? Come on, you're with me, right? Topes, babes, you're not gonna upset trillions of home viewers, are you? Who knows what they'd start thinking about you, themselves, full galactic rebellion. Okay, okay, you twisted my headpiece. Now kill her, or else. Okay, audience, say my catchphrase with me. One, two, three, punch! Uh. Rash, you little double-crosser! Wait, it could be a triple-cross. Sorry, Topians. You fooled me once, and I won't let you do it again. You mean anymore? Yeah, you were fully brainwashed. Can we focus on the cool thing I just did with the Queen? It hurt. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty. They're bantering. It's not a triple-cross. Zap! Oh, great. Look what you did to the floor. Follow them down and attack! Did we win? Well, we're not dead. How do you feel? My nipples got torn off. Did I even have nipples? I can't remember. I have a concussion. Or do I? At least it's finally over. It's not over. But we defeated the Topians. The Topians were enabled by the pampered elites of this city. Too cowardly to fight back. Too spoiled to care about the rest of us. Queen, come on. They're defenseless. We were defenseless. Don't you get it? This was always my plan. I'm not the good queen or even the okay queen. I'm the dark queen. And now that my power has been restored, things are about to get very, very dark. Right here, right here, here she is. Dark Queen, Julie Saturn rings with Galaxy 7 News. How does it feel to have single-handedly defeated the Topians? What? Uh, I saw everything, Julie. The Dark Queen did it all. She's the hero. Stop clapping. I haven't levied your punishments. Yeah, this sassy gal emancipated the galaxy. Let her hear it from every corner of existence. I love you, Dark Queen. Uh, all right. Queen, does this mean you're the galaxy's interim ruler? I suppose ruling is right there in my name. The queen part, not the dark part. So you're not jealous? Nah, I'm not jealous. We've saved the galaxy, and that's enough for me. Besides, who needs fame when I've got my brothers? Are, are we brothers? <laughs> Maybe we should talk about it, Rash. Maybe we should finally talk about it.
Whoa! Galaxy News 7 says a freaky monster is swallowing planets. Should we investigate? Yeah, gotta be honest. It beats going back to the email factory. Yes! I knew this wasn't a one-off adventure. Who knows what the future holds? Maybe new outfits? Relationships? Swearing? Third gen- Just get in the taxi. Sorry, I'm just saying. Anything could happen.